Hello there, today we're gonna have the far changing tide, the review of an evocative aquatic adventure. Four years after Far Alone Island, Alcomotive returns to treat in the indie scenes of video game world with new game, Far Changing Tides. Released already on the March 1st, 2022, PC, Nintendo Switch, Xbox One, Series X, S, and PlayStation, 4, uh, PlayStation 5. This new adventure leaves a uh, arid lands of the first captor and take up a world aquatic. To find out the news has hit the mark, keep reading our review. Far Changing Tides is in effect to no version of the first chapter the second. The basic ideas are exactly the same starting with the narrative. A small, nameless and completely silent character, we must venture into a desolate and submerged world accompanied by only our ball. There is, at the bottom, a story that one of Asian's humans who lived the great catastrophe that flew the, the world and destroyed the cities, however it's an acrotic and narration narrative, which works to be a context but cannot to be central to the experience. The true meaning of the journey, among the other things, is understood only the final moment, which gives a closure and a wider meaning to the entire first game of the series. Don't expect to experience a great fictional epic for changing titles in adventure based on its own atmosphere and built around solitude and silence, similar to words like Limbo and the Journey, just named two classics. Unlike its own sources of inspiration, However, far changing tides always lack that extra something, that extra shot, that truly evocative scene that knows how to remain impressed. Not he that tries and try on a couple of occasions, but he never succeed. The end the result therefore falls with the pleasant but not exceptional. The gameplay. Far Changing Tides is based on the structure of the first chapter, not only the narrative level, but also at the level of the gameplay. The adventure begins with the obtaining for our boat, which obviously has a large sail that used to force of the wind. From the first moment, you notice the evolution of the game and the willingness of the developer to make the interaction with our vehicle a little more structured. If in lone sails the sails are simply raised or lowered, in changing tides we will have to hoist the match, climb it, extend the sails with a rope and then take control them with a rudder to move them and flow the direction of the wind, maximizing our speed. Nothing complex of demanding but is immediately a symptom of the expansion level of interaction. As we advance in the adventure, we will activate the bolt combustion engine, which allows us to burn garbage to be recovered along our path. Always conveniently within the reacts where you need it most to move the oars. In a similar way to the first game, we will have to speed up the bolt, keep the engine temperature under control, organize the garbage to send it through the burner when the previously supply is about to run and more. In land sales, the boat expanded its structure with the small additions over the course of the voyage, but they didn't change the focus of the gameplay massively. In far changing tides, on the other hand, we can even transform the boat into the submarine. In that moment, we will not only have the going left-right moment, but also up-down moment, pulling levers, pressing buttons and keeping our stock in check. It never can be complex, we repeat it, but the management of the boat is less linear and repetitive than in the first chapter for a more different journey, even not for the freedom of the criticism. The rhythm of the game is in fact too often interrupted by phases of sailing in the open sea where there is particularly nothing to do but look at the generic horizons and listen to the ambient music. Changing Tides is completely in about four and a half hours, which is a little longer than the first chapter, but will have benefit from the flights and the slightly lower hour count. However, the game is not solely based on the boat management. Far Changing Tides 
also propose the land sections. There is no land at this time, but you understand by land sales. There are the puzzle platform phases, simple but once again more structured than those of the first game. In fact, we will often have to interact with the environment, activating various type of machinery, moving trains, winches, and opening huge gates and thus allowing the passenger to the boat. There are pleasant sections that will be able to change the pace of the game in the right way to distance us far enough from the boat, so as not to make the game too monotonous, but at the same time without the moving certainly of the relationship without vehicle. So, conclusions. Far changing thoughts is a narrative adventure with a puzzle platform elements, a good evolution or even just a continuation of the first chapter, but it's not only able to fully convince. The playful experience controlled in hand is certainly not demanding, but if you come to the terms with the self imposed structural limits, you find yourself appreciating the navigation and diving phases. However, there is some problem with the rhythm. With phases, they are too slow, but above all, there is that moment of wonder that the best games of the genre always have. Far changing tides will appeal to those who enjoyed the first chapter, but it could end up with oblivion if you tried or evocative than structural works. About the pros, valid evolution and closure to the first part, and the management of the boat is pleasant for the play experience. Okay guys, thank you for watching, don't forget you guys to comment and subscribe, all the links I will leave in the description, and definitely, I would like to recommend you to try, to even, even to try this game, because it's, it, it's where it takes deeply on you, thank you.